Hey YouTube, Gecko Guy here. So just going to be talking about uh, paper towels as substrate, why I use it, why others should use it, um, and why pet stores don't use it. Um, I use paper towel because it's quick, it's easy, I know it's safe, uh, it's paper, it can be easily digested. Um, so I use it for leopard geckos, crested geckos, my African fat tails, Excluding my green tree frogs and my toke gecko, although I probably could get away with it with my toke gecko, I just choose not to. Um, so, when I was first getting into reptile keeping, I didn't really know anything, I didn't really know much about uh, reptiles, didn't really know how to care for them. Back in my day, back in, uh, what was it, 2004 when I got Ben, there was no such thing as YouTube up until, what was it, 2005, 2006, YouTube started coming around. Um, so the only thing you really could use uh, as far as information was um, online uh, care sheets and books. Um, there wasn't really any uh, forums going around at that particular time, and if there was, I wasn't old enough to really understand everything, so um, I had my first leopard gecko, Ben, who's still alive now, on uh, sand, believe it or not, for three years, but I never had a problem with it because I always hand fed him. I would always stick a cricket right in front of his face, he would eat it, and that's how I've been doing it for um, going on almost ten years now. So, once Ben had a really bad problem with his hemipenes, where they prolapsed, I completely changed um, about how I use bedding, and I went with uh, paper towel. Um, a year's supply of paper towel, like, for reptiles, um, I think I got an eight pack roll. It was like eight bucks, and if I wanted to get this roll individually, it's like 60 cents a roll, I believe. And this is great. You wanna get something like this, where there's no, absolutely no print, no ink on it, nothing. Um, it doesn't need to be like super absorbent. It's like the base. This is like the basic two ply paper towel, and it's it's fine for what I use it for. Don't really need anything too overkill, like bounty, like three bucks for a roll of paper towel. Just the very basic, um, very basic roll of paper towel. So, um, ooh, my foot is in frame. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, um, so. Why don't pet stores use it? Well, when I worked at uh, Petland, they specifically said, "Oh, well, you use um, you use uh, paper towel. Your setups don't look too good." I'm like, "That's totally fine by me. I'm not trying to impress anybody. Um, you guys on YouTube, you're probably you, you sure my setups are very basic, but they work. If you've got a setup um, and you've been using it for a long time, why change it? Um, whatever is working for you, keep it that way." Okay. Don't let anybody else tell you what to do with your animals. I mean, if you are completely confident with what you're doing and your own knowledge, stick with it. Don't let anybody try to nag you to change. <clears throat> so pet stores, they will always put like sand or uh, sand for leopard geckos, or I've even seen Eco Earth for leopard geckos at a Pet World warehouse in West Dallas, Wisconsin. Um, you know, I completely disagree, however, I always say it is their animals, let them do with whatever they want with it. Um, you know, if they don't want to really take care of their inventory very well, then that is on them. So, um, I use eight sheets of paper towel for both Ben, uh, my leopard gecko, and Alexandria and Cecilia, my African fat tail geckos, uh, because that's uh, a double layer and it's super absorbent and uh, it works. Um, for my crested gecko, Lialo, I just used three sheets for the 20 gallon, um, the 20 gallon tall. Three, three sheets will equal uh, the floor space of a 20 gallon tall. Four sheets will uh, equal the amount for a 20 gallon long. Um, so, I encourage all of you guys to use uh, paper towel, and you know, even floor tile is uh, st uh, still pretty good, um, but 
some other people like they'll use uh, Eco Earth for um, their crested geckos, and that's completely fine because you know, sure we keep them in captivity, but you know they're not like domesticated dogs. You gotta look at what would they do in the wild. You know, they would be on the logs, they'd be on the shrubs, they'd be on the trees, they'd be on the ground, on the dirt. And a cool, fun little fact to know about crested geckos: fifty percent of them in the wild don't have tails. So. Uh, just keep that in mind. I'm going to also do a video touching base on how I feel about reptiles um, and larger chain pet stores as just inventory. And I'll also touch base on like the norm and what you can, or what people think you should and shouldn't do um, in society for reptiles. So with that being said, I will conclude this video. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Be sure to check out my Facebook page, Instagram, all that fun stuff. And, uh, you know, be sure to add me on Facebook. I'm always uh, frequently posting. And uh, happy pet keeping, happy RCing, and have a good day, guys.